In this video, I will still be going over the formula operations within the working with formulas section within the document that I have provided for you. In this one, we'll be looking at multiplication, division, and exponential. So for multiplication and division, it's the exact same formula that we had used previous in the other video for addition and subtraction. So all you have to do is remember always the equal sign or else your operation will not work. So equals, and again you can do 5 plus 5 times 6 times 8 if you'd like. And you'll get your sum of the numbers. Or again you can always do equals e5 times e6 times sorry e5 times f5 times g5 which will equal exactly what you got before and if you actually look in the formula bar at the top you actually see the breakdown of the operation so that's the actual formula but when you actually have it in results you only have the results. And same thing if you did just 5 times 6 times 8. Equals. In the, for in the formula bar you actually see the numbers instead because that's what we inputted. And same thing if you do it with division your quotient will automatically be 0 0.5 and again if you look in the formula bar this is actually what we typed in but if you do it like how we did before with addition and subtraction multiplication by selecting the cells you will see that it actually says the cell names so We'll do equals e6 divided by f6 divided by g6. And you enter and it's actually 5. And once again, here in the exponential, we have the little up arrow key as our operation for the formula. So if we want to do equals, Two uh, three we'll get eight. And we can also input four if we'd like. And our new sum would be four four thousand ninety-six. Now again you can always just select a cell and you don't have to go and select these cells alone. If you want, you could do Let's say we want to do equals two power of three to power of a hundred. So we have e seven to the power of f seven to the power of e four. So once we click enter, we get our new total. So let's do it again with the numbers that I have inputted. Power of, power of 4096. Stay tuned as next we'll be doing statements for our formula operators.